Okay, so sorry if I sound a little frustrated in this video, but I just spent like an hour and a half recording videos, and it turns out that Camtasia had an update for this new operating update grade I got, and so all of them were worthless because, well, anyway, I'm frustrated. But what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a simple HTML document and embed everything you need to know or do to complete lab exercise one. And most of what you're learning today is, is about as complex as you'll need to get to actually create a web map because really HTML is about the content and play, you know, uh, creating content for a web page. CSS is about designing it and JavaScript's about the interactivity. And as you'll find out, the, there are a bunch of um, uh, APIs out there that will actually are already pre-programmed and will basically fill your web page if you've created the content correctly with the map that you're trying to create. But you do still need to understand the basics of how a web page works. So you can choose your favorite um, text editor or Dreamweaver or HTML editor. On Mac OS I, I like Text Wrangler because it's free and it's cheap and it's pretty uh, versatile. On the PC actually I highly recommend Notepad++. It's free, you can download it online, just type Notepad++ into Google or Yahoo or whatever your search engine poison of choice is. And um, also Dreamweaver, Adobe Dreamweaver is the kind of professional grade website design software. Although when you're first learning I'm loath to say you should go purchase it simply because it's good to learn the basics and in Dreamweaver it's really easy to not learn the basics and then you get lost later on. So what HTML is, is it's a uh, tag-based language. Basically, everything in HTML, every web page, is nothing more than a bunch of what are called tags. And I'll show you what those look like here. Um, a tag is text, uh, predefined text within these, I don't know, uh, I'm blanking on the name here, but within these little crocodile-eating things, greater than, less than symbols. That's a tag. And Basically, what an HTML document is, is you have opening tags and closing tags. So this, for example, tag HTML is basically saying this is the root, this is an HTML document, and this is where the HTML document ends. So one thing that kind of blows many people's minds when they're new to this is the entire World Wide Web that you're looking at is nothing more than a bunch of text files flying around. Now, of course, you're loading images, etc., and, and maybe multimedia files. YouTube has video and stuff. It's not like they're shooting, you know, text files in your face. But all the programming is just a series of small text files floating across the internet or the cyberspace, if you will. Um, so, HTML content, and that's what we'll be focusing on today. And to create an HTML document is remarkably simple. Um, the first thing you always have to do is this, um, and this is a little bit different than the other tags that I'm writing, but you want to start your HTML document with this line here, um, less than, exclamation point, all caps, doc type, space, HTML, uh, greater than symbol. And basically, this, as soon as a browser gets this and reads, starts reading this through this text file, when it sees this, it knows it's looking at HTML, and that tells the browser what kind of code or what kind of tags to be looking for and how to parse it, how to display this information. So that's the first line that you need. And then every HTML document, it's, it's pretty standard now to have HTML tags. So basically that's considered the root folder, the base, base, everything will be within this HTML. And every HTML page has two parts. Head, and well, it's always a good idea to close your tags lest you forget later. So. I open the head tag here, and I close the head tag here. So to close a tag, you put this uh, slash or backslash in front of um, the word. So basically, the head goes from here, and anything that starts after this is in the, the head part of a web page, and it ends when, it, when the browser sees this head. And then there's another part to a web page, and don't worry if this doesn't make too much sense yet, body. So you can probably see where this is heading. You have a head and a body to a web page. Now, long story short, the head is where you put a bunch of metadata and information for the browser. So really, users rarely, if ever, see any information that you put in the head. Um, so that's really for behind the scenes kind of uh, machinations and what, what's going on. And I'll show you some code we can put in there. The body is where all of your content goes. 
So in the end, what you're really going to worry about, once you start writing these all the time, is the body. The head, you might have some information you put in there every time, but the body is where, what people see is in the body. The head is also where we'll put, um, later on in later exercises, we will import some um, cascading style sheets or CSS that will actually style the website. So um, the browser reads from a top down, in a top-down manner, so the browser will read top-down. So it reads that it's HTML, it knows how to read it then, and then it sees the head and it looks for kind of metadata information, and then it goes to the body and what it sees in there it displays on the page itself. So that's the basics of setting up a web page. If you do this every time, it should work fine. Now let's do one thing. Let's 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 play with our first tag, if you will, our first kind of HTML tag besides these these broad um, these broad elements here. And in the head, you can probably the tag you'll use most is title. So I'm going to type title here, and we'll call this Lab Exercise One. And I'm going to close it. And let's hit save. And then let's see what it looks like in a browser. All right, now we have noticed there's nothing because we have nothing in the body. We just have this body tag, so it exists, so it's an HTML document, but there's nothing there. There's no text, I can't highlight anything. But we put a title. Where did that go? Well, it was in the head. And the head, again, is stuff that normally the the viewer of a website won't ever see. However, title they will see if they look carefully. Title is tells the browser what to label the tab, the, the web viewing tab. So we wrote lab exercise one, and it's the title of the web page. So basically that goes in the header. Um, all the other stuff in the header someone won't really necessarily see, although it might impact the website itself. So I'm going to leave you with this introduction, and uh, we'll pick it up here with some basic tags that you should learn and be familiar with.